we've been living here like nearly 30 years. And when we came here, there was nothing. We had to start from scratch. So we have um, peanut farming, we have cattle, but we were being affected by the rustlers, stealing our cattle. And um, we were hunting and fishing to survive. That was our meal. It's hard. I would say it is hard. <laughs> Rupununi is very unique in the whole of region. People are so dependent on wild meat. That's the source of protein. In the south, people are really interested in hunting. But people in the north, they are usually dependent on fishing because most of the communities are located close to major rivers of Guyana. Hunting, for the moment, hunting is not unsustainable in this region for most of the species because for the moment it's still a practice that is being carried out in a traditional way. Most of the wild meat that is hunted is being consumed here. Fire is a threat to the uh, wild animals in the forest here. Yeah. I think they should conserve it first and like ease off on the burning a lot. Fire is important, but then it has to be managed to ensure that it doesn't destroy wildlife habitats. I think one of the major challenges is this transformation of this landscape with infrastructure. The road is soon going to be built and tarred. This will connect the Rupununi to Brazil, so there will be a lot of traffic. With the road also you have more access by external hunters to come and hunt. You never know that they can come by trail and stop there looking for fishes. Everybody try to get income out from the fish, sell it out to earn a little income from it. But also processed food coming from, from Brazil is becoming the major source of food for people. And it doesn't have the same quality as uh, fish coming straight from the river or wildlife coming from the forest. Sometimes it's not easy, but, but then we come up. We are building upon existing initiatives, small initiatives scattered around the landscape and have them scaled up to the Rupununi level. In the central or the north, we have started with the implementation of fisheries management plan. The South Rupununi communities will put in place a wildlife committee which will be in charge of uh, several aspects related to wildlife management. There are a lot of road kills, so with this project we hired monitors to document how many animals were killed, particularly on the main roads. There's already the traditional cattle ranching system in place, but it needs some adjustments because everything is modernizing. We have been doing a bit of ecotourism. I'm just passionate of my job, telling them all about nature, and telling them this, telling them that. Most of it is like nature talk. The first thing is education. So we're trying to educate the youths in conservation. To ensure that this place remains very attractive for the young people. Good lives for people and good lives for wildlife.